I uh, decided to do a part three. This one's going to be really quick. So uh, if you don't like the, the way you're getting reactions on the uh, character right here, and I'll uh, go ahead and show you this. So I'll bring this up and I'll reconnect to this real quick just to show you. So you notice that sometimes it doesn't always react like especially like if you're on if you're getting hit from the side then uh, what you could do is you could increase these delays like I did or maybe uh, just do away with this altogether and if you wanted to you could just do away with the hit event and just keep it keep the physics uh, turned on here and actually this isn't necessary because it's already going to be on when this happens so if we just disregard all of this right here it will make it a bit easier but you'll want to turn up the orientation strength and position strength because if you leave it at like 500 uh, and even at 1000 it's a little floppy but I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like at uh, 500 so when when she's running she's kind of like moving in an unnatural way because of the uh, physics and also her hands will still go outside of the capsule which will trigger the uh, interaction with the environment which is kind of cool but if we come over here and we set this to 1000 it'll make it look a little bit better and you might try maybe even 1500 that way the correction it corrects it enough to keep it more in sync with the actual animation you'll get you'll still get a little bit of floppy behavior here and there but you'll get better reaction time uh, from hits now her feet when she's walking up against the wall her her feet will still still go through the wall uh, and that's kind of unavoidable and the reason why is because we have to use specific collision settings uh, for our character uh, in order to uh, get this uh, the physical animations to work on it so anything any so a lot of the tutorials you'll see they make the capsule smaller so that you can rub up against the environment and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like and I, and you'll kind of see why I don't like doing that so if I just make this 10 and I rub up against uh, the environment you'll see her head will uh, bend funny and her torso will twist all strangely and you might be okay with that you might like that so you know if that's your thing then uh, yeah go for it but for me I don't like it so that's why I leave her inside of the capsule and you could kind of tweak this too maybe you just want her arms hanging out but just remember that because we're not simulating the physics on her legs uh, her, her legs are gonna go through things if they're not inside of this capsule So I'll go ahead and show you that. So this would work okay. And her legs only go partly through. Not enough to actually be a, an issue. But now her arms kind of react a little bit better to uh, the environment. You see when the parts of her that's sticking through rub up against things. And you can just play around with that and maybe turn it down to uh, 20 until you get something that's kind of workable for you. Now her arms will interact as, with the corners as she's going around them. But uh, her, legs will only, her legs will go partially through the walls. For the most part, that's probably not going to be an issue. But you'll see that her head is 
kind of doing that thing now too but not too bad not bad like it was because only part of her face is sticking through but yeah I just thought I would uh, go ahead and throw that in there for you guys because uh, some of you uh, may have been a bit confused because I didn't fully explain how the capsule uh, interacted with it so that being said I'm gonna stop it here and if you found this helpful don't forget to like and subscribe